Section B, practical, question six. Number one, we have to open the document called Sharks. If we look at the instructions in the question paper, you see here it says retrieve the document Sharks saved in the computer practice N4 folder. This is the folder. I have all the files. Then I'm looking for the Sharks file, which is a Microsoft Word. So I open it. Then when we look at the question paper after the file is open, number two says save the document as question six. So I will have to go to file save as and then I'm going to save it in my folder as question six. Then when I save it there, I will make sure that it is still in the same folder computer practice so when I click save confirmed there on top it's written question 6 then I've saved it so when we look at the instruction again on number 3 it says as a header key in your examination number left and question 6 right aligned in capital letters so when you insert a header it's not like inserting a heading we'll have to go to insert and pick header and then you will choose the three columns type of header there so that you can have options of putting the header where you want it to go so according to the instructions we are supposed to actually type on the left and on the right on the left hand side there where it says type here you put in your ID number and then on the right hand side there according to the question paper you're supposed to type question six so the one in the middle that says type here i click and i press delete on the keyboard so that you don't lose marks for accuracy so when i click close header and footer now my case up links inside my paragraph or next to my paragraph where i can make changes when we look at instructions number four, it says edit the document as indicated in the text and according to the instructions below. So when we look at the next page where we see the text in the question paper, like you see now, we can see that we are going to insert things that are not there and we also change some other things, including deleting some other paragraphs and so on so look at the instruction again number four it says edit the document as indicated in the text and according to the instructions below so when we look at the paragraphs in your document in your question paper you will see that there's going to be a heading that you insert before paragraph number one there on the question paper so when we look at the instructions again there we will see that the heading is there on number eight where it says choose any word out of your choice and insert the heading at the top of the document change the font to berlin sense fb28 pt which is the font size and position the heading in the center so the heading should be reading like the king of sharks so when we look at this paragraph here on my page on the screen we know that we have to open lines above so meaning that when we look at the question paper again there it shows that the heading will be the first thing then there are going to be three open lines for you to see three open lines when we look at the text again on the document that i've opened you have to go and click the show and hide icon so that you can see whether you have three open lines so the show and hide will show all the icons on your page when the cursor is blinking there like mine before the first paragraph i press enter one two three so three times shows three open lines before the text so obviously the first line is where i'm going to type the king of sharks so i'll have to open the other one so that I have three open lines after the king of sharks because the first show and hide is where I'm going to type the king of sharks according to the question paper. 
so now there I will say the king of sharks so after typing the king of sharks using the correct spelling there then I will have to make sure that this is a weird art so this show and hide icons are just for you to there for you to be able to see the spaces that are open so if i switch it off it's fine this is three lines if you switch it on it's just for you to confirm but these are nine printing icons meaning that if you print they won't show it is just for you while you are still working on the document so i will have to change this to a weird art according to the instruction that we saw on number eight in the question paper so i will highlight this so when you look for weird art you will go to insert you go to weird art there the question paper says any weird art of your choice so if i choose this weird art it will change what was highlighted to be a weird art like you see on my document so after this weird art i need to have three open lines you see there where it says great white i have to press enter one two three so that i have three open lines this is the first open line there after the heading second one and third one so now i can switch off my show and hide there it is so that is a weird art inserted and i've chosen the weird art of my choice when we look at the paragraph again on the question paper we will see that we have to change all the encircled text to italics so i have a something here that is also indicated in the question paper you see there i've highlighted it is also indicated in the question paper that i have to change it to be italics so i will go and choose italics then i have to also change the way you see at the end of the paragraph in the question paper it says delete so sometimes they will not write the word delete but they will put a manuscript sign meaning that when you see something that is scratched you have to highlight wherever it is scratched like that and you don't repeat the scratching or the this is not a strike through it means you delete so i will just go to the keyboard after highlighting and press delete on the keyboard so that is what you will get marks for just for deleting the paragraph that was there insert lines and start with five so when you see the two paragraphs here in the question paper they say we must insert lines and start with five so i'm going to highlight this as well and make it italics as indicated in the question paper then i will highlight the two paragraphs there and then i will insert numbers because here they say in, uh, in number lines start with five so i'm going to number the lines and start with five so i'm going to highlight the whole two paragraphs together and then i'm going to insert line numbers by going to layout there and then i'm going to go to page setup group when you go to page setup group you have to change to layout then at the bottom there you have to say apply to selected text because we have highlighted something then you can go to line numbers from that side add line numbering you click there start at then you choose five here so you leave it here where it says count by one you don't do anything then you click ok now i want to show you something when i click ok it breaks my page and then everything that has been numbered wants to be alone so if you leave it like this you will lose marks so i will just click and do and show you the correct way when you click to insert line numbers make sure that you don't start by highlighting but we need to make sure that these paragraphs where the line numbers are going to be inserted they are not going to break so i'm going to put a continuous section break so i will just click before the paragraph first one and go to insert breaks there after layout and choose continuous 
even at the end where I'm going to stop highlighting breaks and click continuous so when I highlight the two again I will show you that they won't break I'm going to insert line numbers again page setup launching the group layout at the bottom there I click I say selected sections line numbers add line numbers start at five so when I click OK and I click OK you will see that it's not breaking like it was so all these numbers you cannot type them manually because they are in the reserved margins if you look here this is the reserved margin you cannot type there that is how we get them to be the line numbers then now we look at the next paragraph what are we going to do with this one now check the question paper in the question paper it's indicating that we have to move the paragraph to where it is indicated and then when you look at the question paper it is indicated there the end where you have the three dots showing that paste paragraph here so I'm going to actually go to the paragraph and cut because it says move so I'll go to home and cut then I will go to the end of my text all my pages at the end at the bottom there I click make sure that I open enter twice then I paste then that is where actually it should be why did I press enter twice because it's two lines spaces according to what is indicated in the question paper then when we look going up there to check what we were supposed to do to paragraph number four so i'm just going to check what happened there on paragraph number four we are supposed to indent paragraph on both sides if you look at the question paper it says indent paragraph on both sides at three centimeter and change to 1.5 line spacing so for this paragraph I'm going to apply indentation so I will highlight the paragraph go to paragraph group launch indentation there so I will have to go and change it to both sides meaning left and right so I will just say three even this one here will be three left and right three three you don't worry about writing cm for centimeter because the program should be set by default to measure everything in centimeters then after that i will just click ok you will see that it's only that paragraph that is indented on the left and also on the right hand side then i will have to apply 1.5 line spacing according to the equation paper it says 1.5 line spacing so i launch the group again line spacing there as you see it should be 1.5 then i click ok then it's expanding a little bit the next paragraph again there the end we are supposed to also make sure that it is italics so i will go and make it italics and then we have to change the whole paragraph there as you see it to be indented both sides at five centimeters so we already know how to do it paragraph launch group then i have to indent both sides at five centimeter left and right click ok then that is five centimeter there then when you check there on the question paper the next thing that we see is that we have to make sure that there's a page break here after this paragraph so be meaning that beginning of the heading facts it must be on a new page so I will go to insert a page break you go to layout and click breaks and say page then it will be on a new page the previous page is where we have the indentation of that paragraph at five centimeter so the next page starts with facts as a heading and then we have the rest of the paragraph continuing from there so now we have an indication here in the question paper as you see it says apply to all columns headings column headings the column headings must be uppercase bold underline and right aligned 
so meaning that this heading and this one here and also the next one there all column headings and the other one there okay so i have three of them so they say these headings must be uppercase bold underline and right align so i will go to home and then uppercase i will find it there uppercase then i will also have to go and make it bold and then i will make it underline and then i will also write align it as indicated there then they say shade only the text of each heading in gray so i will go now shading is not color so shading you'll have to go to here where you see a b and then you will go and and make it shaded like gray there now we have to look at the instruction here on the question paper for all these three paragraphs with the headings it says change to three equal columns the first one should be column one the second one should be column two the third one should be column three so i'm going to highlight all of them together and then i'm going to go to layout and then i have to go to columns then i go to more columns so when i choose three there because now you will see that when you say three it's giving you a preview of how they are going to look like so then when i click ok you will see that now it's breaking into columns but we have column one breaking where it wants to break column two starting there the heading two starting within column two and so on so if you leave it like this is going to be a mess so we need column one to end here column two to start here column three to start there as we see it so i'm going to make sure that this is actually column two by click putting the cursor there and then go to breaks and choose column then you will see that this is column one this is column two then column three will start here so i put the cursor there i go to column and then i also say breaks and i say column then now you see that all of them according to the paragraphs they are now in separate columns accurately when we look now we will see that we have to cancel the columns from this point from the point where we have this text here which was supposed to be also italics so i will make it italics by going to home italics so breaking the columns meaning that the last paragraph must not be part of the columns so that is how it is and then if this also is forming a column you will just go and remove the columns from there so we don't have a problem now all of them they are showing three columns so we have pasted that paragraph which is coming from on top of our pages and now it is at the end there now at the end now here we are supposed to open enter twice one two how do you see it you have to show the open the show and hide and then you will see that this is a uh, two lines so after two lines there we have to look at the instructions in the question paper and see what will happen it says insert the image shark from the computer practice n4 folder after the last paragraph okay so i'm going to click there when the cursor is blinking i will just go to insert the image so i will go to insert pictures and then i will look for the folder that contains that uh, picture so when i go to my folders until i find shark there it is then i have to insert the correct one I said i must insert the one called shark so i will choose it there and click insert there it is you can see two lines open then the shark is there so the instruction for editing the picture says apply a double frame black picture style to the image so you click the image first you go to format 
you will see picture styles when you go and put your mouse on top of each one there you will see that you will end up in seeing the one that says double frame black when you choose it, it changes the picture to have a double frame black you can hold, hold the picture and drag it now you want to drag it to be at the center but you can't up until you click the picture go to format go to text wrap square then now you can move it wherever you want to move it so i'm going to put it here at the center of the page because the instruction in the question paper also says so so now when we look at the question paper again it says that you have to change or add the text and the shapes as indicated here so we have to type what is there and then we have to make it look like what we see in the question paper and follow the instructions until we have the table there at the end and also make the changes to this table and we also have to insert the symbols at the end there as we insert the numbers so i'm just going to scroll on my page again as we are editing and then we are going to make sure that we have a page break after the picture as you see there that we have to insert a page break at the end of the picture and move to a new page so on the new page that we have there now we have to start typing so i'm just quickly going to type according to what we see now here in the question paper this paragraph and then also insert a table and also insert the text that we see there so if if you look at the bottom now we have to insert a symbol and also type the text so this is how you do it you go to insert you go to symbols now you go to more symbols because you are looking for a telephone i telephone icon and a computer icon you will only find them under windings normally most of you when you get there it will be under any a font under symbol so make sure you're under wingdings like I chose it now so the first one that I'm looking for obviously it's a shape of a laptop or a computer so I will go and find it click it there click insert it will go to where the computer the, the case is blinking so I will say www when I type there so now I'll just click close here for now www dot help create white dot org so I will type great white dot org and then when I press enter I will have to change now again insert another symbol under symbols there and insert a telephone and then I will add the text two seven six seven eight six and then i will say nine eight seven sixty five forty so you can see that now you have changes to make around this because when we look at the top where we had to insert these things we have to make sure that our text is correct by making sure that we edit the text Obviously, the first line there is the heading was supposed to be bold, so I will make it bold and underline according to the instructions. And then after here, we'll have to press enter twice. So I will have to insert a shape which is called an explosion eight point shape. So when you go to insert and then you go to shapes, you will see down at the and there you have uh, explosion uh, points there so we are looking for the one that says eight points so when I choose this one here I will have to draw it there 
so i will just put the cursor and press enter to push my table down so that my eight point shape will be exactly there where they want it to be then this shape must be changed the the size must be the height of nine centimeter and also make sure that i have the width of 10 centimeter so uh, when you change the shape size you will go to format while the shape is selected and go to height this is height this is width so the height should be 10 and then the width should be 9 then i click there then i press enter so this is the size actual size so it is expanding so i will push my table down with enter there so this is the right shape in the shape they say we must put the text because now this shape according to the question paper must be on the right hand side so in the shape we must put the text that comes from a different file in our folder so the text must be coming from a file called fact so i will copy the text and come and paste it inside the shape so when i go there back to my folders then i go inside fact i find the text i go and copy it and then i go back to my original working document then when i right click here i will go right click inside the shape and go and edit the text or you can go and paste what you have copied so what i do i just click paste there and then the text will be inside my shape as you see it there now when we look at the table the table must change whereby we have the table having a shading in the headings so i highlight the whole headings there then i put a shading inside the heading so it's not for the text then i will go to the paragraph group next to that small icon of a bucket and choose the shading so for the text there's no color but for the headings there there's a shading for both the headings so this heading must be bold and then it must also be centered if you look on the instructions here in your question paper they said it must be bold and center so i'm going to make it bold and center and then we must also change the font of the text in the shape to be Berlin Sans. So I'm going to go to the shape and highlight everything and I go and make it Berlin. If you cannot find Berlin here, you'll have to search it by typing it there. So Berlin Sans, I found it. And then you have to also consider the font size of the text so the font size according to the instructions should be size 10 so i'm going to change this to size 10 like that so coming to the table the table must be having a double line border around it so i click on this icon here when the table is selected like that I can go and right click it and go to table properties and then you will see that you can do a lot of things around the table and so now there is border and shading there so I will just go and take a double line border click the double line border remember you have to apply it around the table so this is the example of the table so inside there must be only single lines so I will just go and click there to make it single lines inside so for the double line outside the table so meaning that when i take the double line i will have to click outside the table only like this and you see that inside is still a single line so when i click ok and click ok again you will see that my table has changed whereby i only have double line around the table only outside so i have to get four open lines below the table so i have two now i will add the third one i'll add the fourth one then now my text is starting there so they say i must apply a tap stop 
at 5.5 centimeter and then for me to have this moving to that 5.5 centimeter so when you do the tap stops you can just go to paragraph group and go and choose tabs then you will say 5.5 and then I will set it and then if you check in the question paper here again they said also we must have another one at 11 centimeter so I will go and say 11 again there and then I will also say set then I click OK so meaning that when I click here for together I'll press tab it will stop at 5.5 and then for this one here I will tap and tap again until it is actually at 11 centimeter so if you look here this is 5.5 this is 11 so if I go here on the next page they are disappearing because it is recognized for the previous page so I will come to this page here and then I will also set for 11 centimeter there set tabs 11 and then click set click OK so when I press tab there it will move exactly to be in line with 11 centimeter like you see now so all these text that I've inserted below the table they should be formatted according to the instructions so the first one here should be Berlin Sense 12 so I will highlight this one and make it Berlin Sense 12. The second one should be um, bold and italics. Actually uppercase and bold. So I will highlight it and make it uppercase. And then I will also make it bold and also make it Berlin Sense 12. Then this one also should be Berlin Sense 12 so i will make sure that i highlight the whole text there and make it berlin sense 12. so now immediately when i change it to berlin sense 12 it's, it is fitting exactly according to the margins there then the last text that we have inserted with the symbols there at the bottom you can see that it should be at the center so we have to highlight everything at the bottom and make it center there there it is that is actually how the document was supposed to be edited i can switch off the show and hide and then when you look as we scroll up to check our document from the beginning there you will see changes according to what we have done from the original document thank you for watching